Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Engage Tutorials. Welcome back to another video. And today I have this awesome unboxing here for you today. I'm gonna be unboxing the BenQ official MLG gaming monitor. Now this this did retail for about 179 on Amazon, so I went ahead and picked that up. I actually got approved for some Amazon credit, so I was like, why the heck not? And plus I had an old TV with a terrible millisecond timing, so I decided to pick this up with the one millisecond timing. And as you can see right there, it ha does have a one millisecond response time in a black equalizer. On the left, it shows the uh, a quote from this pro, the only gaming monitor that's in my setup. And here's a little bit around the box. On the back of the box, it's a different language, Spanish, I think. Uh, I'm not too sure. But uh, when I first opened it up, I was like, what the heck? Why is this foreign? And then I turned it around and it was English. On the side, you don't really have too much. You just have a picture of the monitor and some extra features there. So let's go ahead and get into opening this box. Let me go ahead and grab some scissors and I will be right back. So let's go ahead and slice this open. Now I'm really, really excited for using this guys because it does have a one millisecond delay time and I heard it just looks great. It's a great monitor in general. So, you know, my old TV had like a 30 second millisecond time. So I will let you guys know if I can actually tell the difference. Uh, so follow me on Twitter, by the way, um, if you want to. The link is in the description. Um, you know, I post some updates there and stuff. So, I actually did have a little bit of trouble getting the monitor out, so I decided to go ahead and fast forward. And the first thing that slipped out was the power cable, which we have here. So, a nice little power cable, standard. And next, we have one of the DVI cables that you have on the back of the monitor. You have a DVI, VGA, and a couple HDMI ports, so there's the DVI part. And here we have some, looks like some CDs and installation guides and, you know, manuals and things like that. Let's go ahead and put this in focus. There you have a software disk, so I guess that you can use that if you're using a PC with the monitor. I'm using it for gaming, so that doesn't really apply to me. So, yeah, we got the CD installation disk from BenQ and some manuals here. You know, pretty boring stuff. Probably not even going to read them. It's just a TV. I'm just going to set it up and start playing. And next here, it looks like we have a brick of some sort. Let me see. Oh, it's the uh, actual stand. One of the parts of the stand where you can just uh, slip the monitor on and, you know, get it set up. I heard it's very easy to set up, so I'll let you know. Next, we have what seems to be the foot of the stand. Yes, the foot of the stand. and Oh, it has a nice red uh, outline right there. Looks very cool, in my opinion. Gives it a little extra touch. As if it were to be black, then it would be kind of boring. So there is that. Let's get a closer look at this so you can see it. Sorry about the lighting, guys. I am going to be investing in a lighting kit, so videos will be much better when I do that. Next, we have the actual monitor itself. So let's go ahead and try to pull this out here. Lift it up. And it's a beauty, I tell you that. Um, I really, really actually like the look of it so far haven't even really opened it yet and I already like it so let's go ahead and get a better angle and rip that plastic off and there you have the monitor with some writing on the front of it it had some like some tips and stuff on it I don't really know what it all means so just scrap that and take it off and I actually love doing this just ripping these kind of things off of uh, new products and stuff it feels great I don't know why don't ask me it just does I like it And then there you go you have the beautiful monitor itself Ben Q with a nice uh, nice size gaming monitor. You don't want to go too big with the gaming monitors because then it's just it's just harder to play, especially if you're going for, especially playing Call of Duty and things like that. And on the back, we had a little BenQ engraved, and on the bottom here is where we have all our ports. You have some audio ports, a uh, power plug, and uh, to the right, we have two HDMI's, the DVI and the VGA cable in case you're using it for a monitor or a monitor and gaming, you can use it for both if you want. And on the side we have a power button and some basic, you know, basic television functions or monitor functions to set everything up. So that is it guys, I hope you did enjoy. Here is the final look at the monitor all set up. It literally took about five minutes to set it all up. Uh, it's very easy to connect and snap together. And uh, that is the final look at the monitor itself. If you look down here, the BenQ with the nice uh, stand here. I like the look of the stand. Uh, 
It's not boring, just a regular old stand. It looks pretty good. So once again, I hope you guys did enjoy. Please leave a like. And special word of the day is Ben, because the monitor is called BenQ. So put Ben in the comments below if you're still watching. And I will see you guys in another video. Peace.